A chance for new antibiotics. Newly discovered molecule it has a strong anti-drug resistant activity. A team of Canadian scientists has identified a molecule which can challenge even the most drug resistant bacteria on the planet. Newly discovered molecule may lead to a completely new one antibiotic class, the first in over 20 years. Strains of bacteria that have developed resistance to action many commonly used antibiotics are becoming more and more urgent the problem. They have been recognized by the WHO as a growing threat to the world health. A significant part of antibacterial drugs are varieties of compounds discovered 10 decades ago. For these years, due to widespread use antibiotics in agriculture, as well as in healthcare, microbes with frequent contact with the medications used has learned to avoid them. It is getting bigger the number of bacteria becomes resistant and spreads around the world. Superbugs, because so are also called drug resistant small things kill nearly 1.3 million people each year. These are estimates from 2019 of the year. Scientists believe that this number will grow rapidly and will soon this is equivalent to more deaths than cancer. Therefore, finding the middle anti-drug resistant bacteria is one of the biggest challenges for the pharmaceutical industry. And maybe that's exactly what it worked. Scientists from the McMaster University in Hamilton, Canada, discovered a molecule that attacks a wide range of disease-causing bacteria, even drug-resistant strains and to this is not toxic to human cells. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature. Our old medicines are becoming less effective because bacteria are becoming more and more resistant to them, explained Gary Wright from the McMaster University. The discovered molecule attacks bacteria in a different way than others the antibiotics. Lariocidin, because it is called, is directly related to bacterial a protein producing factory, i.e. from a fishsome, in a completely new way, inhibiting the ability of bacteria to grow and survive. Ribosome is an attractive target for antibiotics because bacteria do not easily develop resistance to drugs that work on its structure. Lariocetin is produced by a type of bacteria O oh, it's called Penibacillus. Scientists have isolated it from a soil sample downloaded from McMaster University. Scientists in search of new antibiotics took samples soil from different places. They put them in petri dishes with food and they allowed soil bacteria to grow in the laboratory for about a year. The use of such a method allowed to reveal even slowly growing species, which otherwise, they could be overlooked. One of these bacteria, mentioned already Penibacillus, she made a substance that had a strong action against other bacteria, also those that are usually resistant to the antibiotics. When we discovered how it kills other bacteria, it was this is a turning point, said Manoj Jangra, an assistant professor at Wright's lab. Further screening, genome sequencing and structural analyses have shown that the bacterium produces a molecule belonging to groups of peptides forming a lassa-shaped node. These peptides are known for this, that they are durable and can probably survive even digestion. In addition to the unique way of acting and activities against drug-resistant bacteria, scientists are optimistic about lariocidins because it meets many appropriate criteria, it is not toxic for human cells, is not susceptible to existing resistance mechanisms antibiotics and also work well in the animal model of infection. Lariocidine was used in studies involving infected Acinetobacter baumannii mice. Acinetobacter baumannii is resistant to carbapenems, considered to be last old antibiotics a chance. 
Untreated mice did not survive more than 28 hours after infection, but survival and after 48 hours and had low levels of bacteria in the blood. In cellular studies, ferrocericide has slowed increase in a number of common bacterial pathogens, including many strains resistant to many drugs. Authors did not observe any evidence of toxicity in the face of human cells. Wright and his team are now looking for ways to modify particles produced by penicillus in production in amounts large enough to allow clinical trials. Initial the discovery was astounding to us, but now the real, heavy the work. We are now working on the unfolding of this molecule and reassembling it, to make him a better candidate for a drug, Wright said.